tryna make peas and things You don't wanna be there when the free eight spins Cock it, bang, lock it, jam Free buddies on a ride, I'm a stuck in dam Stuck in dam with a cookie, not am If that pussy feel good, then that pussy get blam If that up give mouth, then he have to get blam Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Life of Owls here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, what's bracken? Um, yeah, so today I'm gonna be getting into all of this. I posted a picture on Twitter, like I was just thinking about on Twitter, like not even a serious picture, because I really liked my base on that day, and everyone was going crazy, like you need to do a tutorial on this. And I thought I might as well because I do have an updated soft glam foundation routine. So this is how I do my soft glam. Um, I want to show you guys the products I use, the brushes I use, my little techniques and stuff that I use to really achieve a soft glam. Um, soft matte, I'd say soft glam, soft matte. I don't even know what to call these things anymore. Soft matte, soft glam, whatever. Whatever this is on my face, I'm going to show you guys. Um, yeah, it will be quite detailed-ish, as detailed as I can make it, to talk through. And, um, yeah, I'm really bad at intros when I have nothing to say. So I'm just going to let you guys watch the video. Make sure to, you know, enjoy the video. Subscribe whilst you're here. Like, right now, subscribe, because I'm always on 10K. So, you know, subscribe, you know, because I'm cute, and I'm funny, and I make cool content. So, yeah, and I'm always on 10K. So, you want to just enjoy that, I guess. It's free. So, yeah. Keep watching to see how I achieve this, and I will see you on the other side. The other side being the end of this video, by the way. I'm waving, but you're not going anywhere. Keep watching. So, first you want to start off by moisturising. I've already um, moisturised my face using the Bobbi Brown um, Hydrating Face Cream. Is it the Bobbi Brown Face Cream? Yeah, the Face Base Face Cream, whatever this is called. This is really good stuff, like really, really good. I really like this as a base for makeup. It's not cheap though, right? it's not cheap. I'd say a good alternative would actually be the Glowpot ACE um, Moisturiser, simply because I wouldn't wear this on its own, like without makeup, but the um, Glowpot one I wear under makeup and... Um, on its own, this one is I'm not really like that amazed, but like under makeup, top notch. And then I'm gonna go in with my first step for my base, which is the Max Studio Face and Body Foundation. This was recommended to me by um, Ranty. Was it Rant anyway? I'm trying to remember her actual like at name. But my darling Ranty recommended this to me. This stuff is so good. Like it proper helps you create like a nice. Um, like soft um, glam kind of look because it gives you like a skin like finish so one thing I will say, I apply this with my hands like Ranty recommends you do this with your hands and it actually melts better with your hands one thing I will say is the shade range on this isn't the greatest but and like this one's a bit light for me but it makes a very big difference in my base and making my base more skin like this makes any foundation look skin like you guys will see what I mean in a second but this is like the key to like a skin like base for me rub that with my fingers but yeah i'm in the color n7 there is a shade up which is n9 but like i said the shade range isn't the greatest but apparently they are expanding the shade range on this which is good because this is like a goat product as you can see it has a very very sheer finish so i wouldn't i would personally wouldn't use this on its own because i just don't like my makeup to look like this like when i'm wearing makeup i like to look full glam if you're into like the no makeup makeup soft makeup look this is perfect for you on its own but that's not my bag i'm either wearing no makeup whatsoever or full face there's no really real in between for me so the next foundation i'll be using is a cult classic a cult faved classic everyone and their mum knows about this it's the estee Lauder double wear foundation this was one of the first foundation no this was the first high-end foundation I ever bought when I was 16 and I got my first job. This is the first ever high-end foundation I bought. Um, and I stopped using it on and off for years, but now I'm back on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Hype because this foundation is amazing. Like, the coverage, the finish, everything, it's just perfect. It's just, yeah, this is a goated foundation. I'll be applying this foundation with my Morphe M439 brush. This brush everyone was raving about. I've used it once. Um, because I tried to film this video before and it flopped, so this is actually a refilmed video. But yes, my Morphe M439 brush. This brush is so good. And guys, if you've watched me on YouTube for a long time, you know that me, I never care for my brushes. I use any old brush and use any old thing, but the brushes you use do make a difference. So I'm gonna take some of that sandalwood back on my hand like so. Go in my brush and then, yeah. But yeah, I'd really recommend this brush. 
Say she love my skin, coffee like pasta. the foundation if you didn't notice I'm gonna explain now so I don't really um, put foundation on my forehead so I always buff out the center of my face first and then whatever's left on the brush I used to do on my forehead because I don't like having loads of foundation on there because it just makes you look really cakey so yeah that's just personal preference I don't have loads of foundation on my forehead so I just um whatever's left on the brush I just you know dab on my forehead so yeah foundation is all blended and buffed out now we're going to do concealer so for concealer today i'm going to use my Too Faced born this way concealer in chestnut so this um concealer is the goat like the goat of concealers i want to try to do like a more lifting method so let's just apply it here and then lift up there Call me big daddy, call me big papa Say she love my skin, coffee like pasta uh, She said I'm handsome, you know Still attractive Badness, you know, so she fire my shit so, Then I'm gonna take my beauty blender This is the actual beauty blender Like, not the Real Techniques one or any other This is actual beauty blender, beauty blender The original one This is so good Like, the original is just ugh, Yeah, undefeated champ, this one is I really love this for blending out concealer I'm just gonna start on the outer area like so blending upwards towards the hairline and then go in Call me big daddy, call me big papa Say she love my skin, coffee like pasta Oh that beauty's a imposter Big breast, no back, that's improper Call me big daddy, call me big papa Say she love my skin, coffee like pasta me, my actual face. brightening concealer, I'm going quite bright, okay, it's quite light. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer, which is my well, precious dummy put me onto this like two years ago, a year ago. I can't remember how long ago it was, but this stuff is really good. I'll come back on it again, it's so good. Um, just so creamy, comes, applies like a dream. I'm using a really light colour, so I'm using tan sand. And listen, guys, if you're not into bright um, under eye, you might want to go a bit darker than I am, but... Um, I'm going for quite a bright look today. It will work out anyways. Same kind of method. I'm going to do the lifting kind of method for this. looking brighter because the coverage on this concealer isn't the greatest I'm gonna try a little few just one two three dots under like so and then once I do that I'm gonna just apply my contour so for contour I'm using the um, Fenty matchsticks in truffle this is actually not that dark which is what I want it's a very cool undertone neutral cool undertone which you want for your contour um, just applying it like so and I'm just gonna do that and then take the butt of my beauty blender and blend it like upwards and then blend out. Call me big daddy, call me big papa. Say she love my skin, coffee like pasta. Oh, that beauty's a imposter. Big breast, no back, that's improper. Call me big daddy, call me big papa. Say she love my skin, coffee like pasta. Uh, she said I'm handsome, you know. Still attractive. Bad mission now. I'm quite happy with that. Now it's time to bake. I'm using my Huda Beauty. This is like the best thing I've used to bake ever. Like better than Laura Mercier. I, I said it, better than Laura Mercier. I'm using the shade Banana Bread. I used to use the shade, the shade, <laughs> the shade Blondie. But I switched to Banana Bread just to give me a slightly brighter under eye. I noticed all the girls that were like my color were using Banana Bread, so I felt a bit left out. So I was like, okay, me too then. So yeah. Um, and you just press that in. If you're doing makeup on someone, don't blow on your brushes and sponges, by the way, but it's on myself, so I didn't give a toss. And you want to really press the powder in, almost as if you are um, blending up concealer. When we step in the fed station, uh, no information, no chance for cooperation. I've been tired of litigation. Uh, cool, 
bake. So we are all baked. We're gonna let that bake. And whilst I bake, I do my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and then just wipe. It's just personal preference. I don't really like to have foundation on my brows whilst I'm doing it. Isn't it amazing, guys? Those who have watched me for a long time have transitioned into a brows after foundation. Maybe I used to do my foundation um, after my. I used to do my brows. What am I trying to say? I used to do my brows before my foundation. But I'm a new woman as of the last two years, I'd say, a year and a bit. Yeah, like, it makes more sense to do your foundation first than do your eyebrows up. I, I promise you, your eyebrows will turn out nicer. Yeah, well, I don't like my eyebrows to look harsh anymore, so you take that as you will. So, for eyebrows, I'm using something new, which is a big deal for me, because you guys know I don't really switch up my eyebrow routine or how I do my eyebrows. I'm quite, like, rigid when it comes to what products I use on my brows, but this has really impressed me. This might be the best thing I've purchased for my eyebrows in a long time. It's the Refi Beauty um, eyebrow kit. So I'm gonna be using the um, brow gel thing in the kit and the pencil. So first I have to take the brow gel and I just, it comes out white but it does blend out. I've got the kit in the shade dark. And I just apply like so. Go and sit back, kick back, have a little chit chat. Got a new brown skin thing, kick catchy. Gave me the chance, so I gotta hit that. Hold that, he's a impulse. So I've applied that just to give it a nice, fluffy eyebrow look. Then I take, um, in that same kit, if you pull it open, we've got these little brushes here. I'm just gonna brush the product through to make it blend out. Brushing my eyebrow hairs up to get that nice, fluffy brow look. Attractive, bad mission now. So she fire match. She hold me for ransom, you know. I feel like I should zoom you guys in so you guys can really witness the litness. Hang on, there we go. That's better. You guys can actually see what I'm doing. Cool. So then I take where is it? I take the refire eyebrow pencil, which also comes in dark because that's the kit that I got. And this pencil is so good because it's so like you can't even see it. Let me see if I can show you guys. Nope, nope, not gonna focus. There we go, it's so fine. And it helps you create really good like brow-like strokes. So, oh, brow is itchy now. Okay, cool, so I'm just gonna go in with light hair-like strokes just to fill in the gaps in my brows, really. What's the situation? Y'all want play me like PlayStation. Bet that beans at the gas station. Brad of vibes, but I'm still rooting. Oh, that beans are in So, I'm going to take my MAC um, Studio Fix Concealer. This is the best concealer for eyebrows. I say this every time I use it, but I'm going to say it again. An angled brush. And just just the bottom I don't do the top because you can get really bad halo brows if you're gonna do the top I suggest you put foundation like a darker concealer but um, I try to pencil my brows in a way where I don't need to do the top so yeah it's even a miracle that I'm using pencil and not gel because everyone knows I'm an eyebrow gel stand this is like an eyebrow gel stand account that's primarily what I use on my brows I feel like pencil never does anything for me blend that out with my Real Techniques concealer brush. I think it's a concealer brush. I don't know what it is, but I just use, I think it's even an eyeshadow brush, but I'm just gonna blend out that concealer. Jam, free buddies on a ride, I'm gonna stuck in dam, stuck in dam with the cookie not am. If that pussy feel good, then that pussy get blam. If that up give mouth, then he have to get blam. Up give talk, then he have to get blam. blam then and then any definition that I feel like I've lost, I'll just go back in. Um, with the pencil just to redefine, but I just think I need to add some more strokes to the front here. Yeah. Look at the brows, this is amazing stuff. Easy peasy fluffy brows. I really recommend this eyebrow kit, guys. Like, purr. <laughs> so now we need to sort out our bake, but what I do now, my new method is, because I like a really, I like my bright under eye to look concentrated to this area. So what I do to help with that in terms of placement is I actually start doing my, I start bronzing now before I bake. So I'm taking my bronzer. I'm not using Mocha Mami today, guys. I'm actually using Coco Naughty, the Fenty um, bronzer. 
I've changed. Um, I like the softness of this bronze. This is gonna be, I've, it's so funny. When I first reviewed the bronze, I said I like a good bronze bronze. I still use Mocha Mami, but I like this because um, it's not as red. And yeah, so if sometimes I'll layer the two together depending on how bronzy I wanna look. But today I'm going for more of a soft, not a soft bronze, I'm still gonna pile this on heavy, but I like the color of this more, should I say. I'm just gonna take that on this broken handle. I don't even know what kind of brush this is, where it's from, but I love you just for my bronzer. Um, and um, sorry, makeup people, you're gonna look at me like, oh, this bitch. I'm just gonna place it quite high up here to the point where it might wipe off some of my bake, basically. What's that? Oh, reminder. Oh, that he is an imposter. Big press, no back, that's improper. Call me big belly, call me big papa. Say she love my skin, profit like Costa. Oh, that he is an imposter. Big press, no back, that's Apply my bronzer, and then I'm gonna wipe off my bake using my Real Techniques setting brush. This is like the perfect brush because it's small, gets in the fine places, and lets you really blend out that powder. Just makes everything just look so seamless. Oop, that puts my eye. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, Alison. I'm still going to take some of the bronzer left on the brush and then go back over that like so. I like my bronzer to be quite high up, like I said, because I want the highlight to be this. Just this, just for my face shape. Um, you do what you feel is best for your face shape as well. Don't come into that as it's got you out here looking crazy, because I'm doing it according to how the contours of my face are going as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, so with this bronzer, I have to build a bit more, but I like that it's buildable. The Mocha Mami, you've got to be careful. Hey. One wrong hard brush stroke and you're out the game. Obviously I put some on my forehead as well as you can see. I'm just gonna take that out. Cool. Before I do blush and highlight, I'm gonna do my eyelashes quickly. So, um, I do my makeup in a very weird order. It's just an order that makes sense to me, okay? It doesn't have to make sense to you, it's the order I do things in. Just applying my mascara first to my real lashes. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Big mascara because it's cheap, efficient, does what it needs to do and I wear falsies so I don't really care for mascara. So my mum's laughing really hard downstairs at some TV show and I've watched the show before and it's not that funny. Um, yeah, so cool. I'm gonna apply lashes off camera because I don't apply lashes on. Someone asked me one time why I do so many things off camera because I feel like it. <laughs> Sorry. It's just I can't bother to edit myself like playing with my lashes and being like Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna put my lashes on off, off camera and then I'm gonna come back with my lashes on. I will tell you where the lashes are from, don't worry, but I'm not about to just be, yeah, no, nah. I'll be back. I'm back with lashes. The lashes I'm wearing are from C Lux Beauty. She actually sent me over um, this like lash book. It comes with three styles of lashes, Aquarius Short, Leo, and Miami Heat. I already had a pair of Miami Heat, so what I've done is I've stacked two pairs of Miami Heat together. So one from this set and then one from my old Miami Heat um, pair that I had. I like to stack my lashes because I like a dramatic lash. If you're not into the whole, oh my back. Crikey, sorry my back's been a bit. Yeah, if you're into the whole dramatic lash thing, don't stack your lashes, don't wear long lashes, don't complain about my long lashes. It's just not, let's just not do that today, yeah? But yeah, that's how, because people always ask me how I get really fluffy lashes. It's by taking fluffy lashes and then stacking them. You can either, or if you want it to be like less thick, as, like, not as thick as mine, you can stack like fluffy lashes with like thinner lashes on top, thinner, shorter lashes just to add a bit of volume. So stack and play basically is what I'm telling you guys. Um, but yeah, I've stacked two pairs of Miami Heat lashes together with this lash look today. But for highlight today, I'm gonna to be using my ultimate old school fave. You guys already know, it's the Chem Beauty Highlight in Sugar Bean. And guys, I now have a discount code for you guys, a personal one, so you shop Ken Beauty and use my code ALS10 for some coins off, okay? Don't say I don't do stuff for you guys. Don't say I don't do stuff for you guys. So I'm taking my Morphe doo -doo -doo -doo, M451. This was recommended to me again by Ranty. And she was right when she said this is like the best brush to apply highlight with. It just, it just makes your highlight just fuse into your skin. I'm telling you, brushes make a difference. So I'm just gonna take that, see it there? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Go and sit back, kick back, have a 
have a little chit chat. Got a new brown skin tin Kit Kat. She gave me the chance, so I gotta hit that. Oh, that movie's an imposter. Big breast, no back, that's improper. Call me Big Daddy, call me Big Papa. Say she love my skin, but feel like Costa. Oh, that movie's an imposter. Taking my Ken Beauty blush now to blend everything out. I'm using the shade Mumbai again. Owls 10 for some coins. Oh, this blusher is so good. Like, it shows up so well on brown and dark skin. It's just like the perfect blusher colour. If you're like scared of blush, I recommend this. It's not as pink as it looks like. It's very pigmented, but it's not like some bright clown looking kind of blush, you'll see. So I'm taking my um real technique, real technique, see, 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 see. <laughs> my real techniques of blusher brush. So a smile and apply. See how my highlight just ends up being more muted and blended out this way as well. Take some swipe it across my nose lightly like so. Blush on the nose has made a, such a big difference for me. So yeah, I'm taking my blush off quite far up. Look at that. It's all coming together. Now I'm going to spray everything together. So I'm using my MUA. This is like a really good spray. I really like this to set my face because it takes away the powderiness and mattifiers. When I use like dewy setting sprays, it just doesn't bang. So I was, um, I tried the MAC What It Do, um, that dewy spray. I hated it. It made me look really greasy. I have like combination dry skin, but when I put too much dewy stuff on my face, it can make my face look slippery and greasy. But I think that slippery, greasy look is how dewy makeup is supposed to look. And I don't like that on me. I like mine to look quite like a soft glam, soft matte type of vibe. So yeah, this is like four pounds. I really like it. I bought it on a whim one day. I needed like an emergency spray, but it's been doing bits for me, boy. So I'm gonna keep at it. And then let that dry down. So I'm going to now, um, whilst my face is still drying, take some mascara, put it on my bottom of my Slide my clips out. All right, let me do my hair. Oh, this wig is so laid. Hair is so laid. Oh, lay, oh, lay, oh, lay. Oh, lay, 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 oh, down. Sorry, I've been on TikTok. Yeah. All day today. And that stupid sound keeps coming up. I feel like I need to put a clip so everyone understands what the hell it is because I'm gonna sound like really stupid singing it. I probably sound stupid regardless, but I feel like I need to give you guys look what I did to my straighteners, please. Don't even ask. I feel like I need to give you guys context as to why I'm singing the song like that. Wanna be there when the free eight spins, cock it, bang, lock it, jam. Free buddies on a ride, I'm a stuck in dam, stuck in dam with the cookie not am. If that pussy feel good, then I'm so flipping laid. The hair is just laid, lay, lay, laid. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna take my. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips now. I'm gonna take my Morphe lip liner in Trendsetter, which is always sold out online, and it's starting to piss me off. Um, I'm hoping. That when the shops open April 12th, I can grab one because this is fucking ridiculous now. Okay, yeah, just do that. Take my um, Huda Beauty lipstick in board meeting. This is a really matte lipstick. I love this colour so much. It's the highlight of the centre, like so. And then taking my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Hot Chocolate. And what I do with my lip gloss when I do lipstick and lip gloss combos is I actually just do the out, like, outline of my lips, so like the lip line like so. Because it will eventually just mesh together anyway. Like so. That is my lip gloss combo. 
that is my entire face to be fair we are actually done it guys you like my necklace it says owls a customized one i got it from vela uk this isn't like paid promo or nothing like, i actually bought this but i thought i'd share with you guys in case anyone cares or in case i get any comments but yes owls customized from vela uk black owned as well black 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 but yes from vela uk Customize. I just got owls on that. I think you can get up to eight or six characters. I don't know, but mine just says owls on it because that is me. I was gonna put Allison, but then it's just I don't know. I just, put, I just like the look of owls better. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have the link for the website to where to get this from and stuff in the Instagram page in my description box. Anyway, it's back to what I, we're actually here to talk about. Guys, that is my soft glam foundation routine. I think I look flipping beat like. Like, I look beat. I'm really enjoying this. I think I look flipping beat to the guards. Hair is laid. I'm really enjoying my hair and I'm really sad that I'm really not going anywhere. This is just what's pissing me off. I'm actually looking this laid and I'm not going any damn where. But yeah, this is what we have so far. What do you guys think? Um, what do you think of the products I've used? So I've shown you guys my techniques, my brushes, the products, how I get my little soft glam going on this is not like a, a makeup look I, I don't wear my makeup like this every day funnily enough like if i need to leave the house quickly this is not how i do my makeup but it's definitely my soft glam when i'm really trying to you know <laughs> make an appearance somewhere you get me and i usually i would wear my hair in this sleek straight hair as well because it just goes with this beat every single time it's a classic beat classic hair everything That's it from me guys, um, remember when you shop Ken Beauty to use my code OWLS10, if you have any questions or anything you want to say, comment down below, make sure to like, comment, subscribe because I'm almost on 10k, let's just, you know, tell your friends about me, even if you want to punch me in the face and you find me annoying, it's okay, join, 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 get my subscribers up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.